This is the test bed used to uh, test the functionality of the gear system mixer. As you can see, it's a, a very crude affair, uh, but actually that goes some way to prove the point of the mixer. Uh, the mixer is designed to ease installation for uh, complex gear systems where perhaps different servos need to be used or they're in awkward to reach positions within the aircraft making it extremely difficult to, uh, you, to have symmetrical uh, linkages or whatever as would be required without the mixer. To that end I've deliberately used different makes of servo, I've got JR, I've got Waypoint, I've used a variety of different servo arms, linkages, clevises, everything I can think of really just to, to make the installation very uh, very different, very asymmetric to, uh, to show you the value of this mixer. Basically I have a tricycle undercarriage layout uh, using mechanical retracts, standard power servos for the uh, legs and for the test bed only I've just installed one door flap uh, portion here with a micro servo to power that. The mixer is capable of uh, coordinating anywhere between two and six servos depending upon the complexity of the aircraft and of course how much weight you want to add. Uh, really it's designed for scale applications uh, where that extra weight um, can be absorbed for the sake of added realism. So the first thing that we're going to do when we uh, come to fit the aircraft normally you wouldn't install any of these arms uh, until you've checked the direction of the servo to ensure that uh, they're all going the correct direction so you don't end up damaging doors or whatever with legs going the wrong direction and, and fouling the doors. Um, this is a very uh, crude test bed. Um, I've just connected it for the sake of ease and uh, as we go through you'll see the potential for fouling and I'll talk about how you can rectify that and how to avoid it when you come to your own installation. So the first thing um, I'm going to do is just reset the, uh, the device just to ensure it's uh, in default settings and what you can see here on the device is there's a little switch here, a micro switch. Um, also here we have a buzzer that tells you uh, where you are in the setup routine. There's a little trim pot here for making adjustments for the travel. There are also six servo outputs here. The first three are for the door. Uh, the doors and the uh, second three are for the legs. It actually only takes one channel from the receiver, channel 5, which is typically undercarriage. So all the mixing is done from that one switch. So to, uh, to reset to default uh, settings, should you ever wish to, you simply hold the switch down, turn on the power, you'll hear 10 beats, which is the uh, acknowledgement you're entering, entering the setup routine, and all you do is you will hold it for about 5 seconds beyond that and it will then set the defaults. That's the 10 beeps normally you'd release. Now I'm on the constant tone. I simply hold that down for about that long. Um, it will now go through the setup routine if you wanted to enter that directly. And what you can hear are beeps corresponding to subroutines. One is servo reverse. Two is travel adjustment. Three is the timings. And four is to do with stagger. So now the system is live, it's on the default settings, and what you'll see, for example, is some of the servos have raised the gear. This one over here, the gear is down, and the door here is sort of in a uh, kind of nearly up position, but not fully up. Um, and we'll do all that adjustment now electronically. If we actually raise the gear, the first thing you want to check with your own installation is that uh, the servos are moving in the right direction. Okay, and the first thing you want to do is when you lower the gear, you want the door servos to move before the leg servos. That moves, then that moves, and that tells you basically that your transmitter is, uh, you don't need to reverse the channel on your transmitter. So that is the way you want to proceed, uh, or it's what you need to check before actually programming the mixer itself. So uh, obviously it's set up for a JR transmitter. Different transmitters may be different, um, and you may need to reverse that on the uh, transmitter before proceeding if it doesn't work in that manner. It obviously does here, so the first thing I'm going to do 
is uh, start the setup routine to do that again simply turn off the power press the button turn on the power and release whilst it's still beeping if you want to select option one oh and I missed it there then you simply press the button following the uh, the long single beep for option two press the uh, button after the two long beeps etc now, obviously I missed it there so I'm going to have to try it again okay so I'll try that again there we go one single beep there you are it beeps to tell you you're there what's happening now is it will actually go through all of the servos and put them in what it thinks is the down position and if you're quick and not talking as I am then as it comes up you need to press that button and it will lower them down so you can see at the moment this is correct this is correct and these two are wrong okay so less talking more action I'll try that again and this time I'll try and concentrate single beat select first servo there you go correct that second servo correct that third servo don't need to touch that uh, fourth position is the uh, first door second position uh, fifth position is the second door and the final one is this door here and that's set correctly now you can go directly onto setup number two and here on the first beep you select the door um, so you have two long beeps to select the subroutine and then you basically listen out for that first beep press the button and it activates the respective servo what you can then do is by taking a screwdriver is you can actually adjust that position on the door and you can see probably not very well from above but I'm basically moving this in and out you can see on the servo here and I can basically adjust that to my heart's content so that the surface and the undercarriage is fully up and flush with the wing I do the same procedure for the next servo there you go two beeps select okay so again can I just adjust it like that third servo okay okay just adjust it till it's flush okay fourth servo is not installed fifth servo is not installed sixth servo select I'll raise the gear and there you go I can adjust that as simple as that and at that stage that is actually the the installation stage uh, installation stage complete you've now got the full functionality of the undercarriage working for your aircraft with all the systems flush so now when I raise the undercarriage all the gears come up fully and the door shuts flush with the system the next stage is more mimicking the scale application I'll just reposition the camera for that